Okay, we're gonna try to build a chair in Back to Works 2009. Um, I'm gonna build it from scratch, we're gonna create a symbol, and then we're gonna add a texture. This moment, I'm using centimeter as units, so perhaps you want to go to your file, document settings, and then units, and change it to centimeters, as you can see here. Then, I'm gonna use the active layer scale, the active layer scale of 150, 1 to 50, okay? So make sure you have those same settings. I'm gonna zoom in perhaps a little bit, and I'm gonna use my rectangle tool and create a 50 by 50 centimeter rectangle. This is my top view. So I'm gonna press my tab key, 50 by 50, press enter, and then I can already start defining how I'm gonna have my shape. Then, that's going to be the top view of my object. Perhaps, I'm going to start zooming in a little bit more. A little bit more. That's my top view of my object. Then, perhaps, I want to do rest, the backrest of my document. I can just do a rectangle. Okay, that's 50. And on the Y, perhaps, I'm just going to use 5. Okay, press enter. And there you go. Now, the next step will be to actually create the actual legs. Uh, what we can do is just do, from here, a rectangle that's going to be perhaps four centimeters, four by four, click. Okay, this leg should be one here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna need to duplicate to the right so perhaps I need to go to my mirror tool. My mirror tool should, my shortcut should be here. Okay, my shortcut is M for mirror. Okay, the one we're gonna use is mirror tool, duplicate and mirror. I select my object, I find the center of the big square and then duplicate. Then I'm gonna select both of my legs and I'm gonna go again and duplicate, finding the center of this shape. Okay, now they'll have been duplicated already. My next step will be to bring, actually this shape should be snapping over here. Okay, so basically what I need to do is grab my four legs, and then on the actual stroke, I'm gonna change it to a dashed line. Okay, perhaps I want to change the settings. Something like this, some, perhaps a little bit smaller. So that way. Okay, something like this. Now, let's actually go and change it. This is the dashed line that I had before. Okay, so now, this is going to be the view of my shape from the top. Perhaps what I want to do is change this to colors. Perhaps I'm going to use darker brown. Okay, I'm going to use some, my color circle. Some browning here. And then a different brown. Actually, let's use the same one. And these ones shouldn't have any fill. So basically, here I'm going to use none. Okay? Here we go, that's the top view of our chair. I'm gonna select it, and go to Modal. Sorry, um, I'm gonna go to Modify. Then I'm gonna create a symbol. I'm gonna give it a name, I'm gonna call it Chair. Now in here I'm gonna define where I'm gonna be planning, where I'm gonna be placing my object from. So I'm gonna use Next Mouse Click, I'm gonna leave the instance in place. I click OK. Find the center, and I just click. Okay. Destination folder, I can just leave it here on title 2, don't worry. And click OK. Now, I can see my chair symbol already here. What I can do now is right click and, well, before I edit the symbol, I'm going to double click to go in. I'm going to edit it to the component. And what I need to do is now copy everything. So that's command C or edit, copy. 
I'm going to exit the symbol again, right click, and now I'm going to edit the 3D component, which is something I haven't generated yet. Now, my view is empty, so I need to edit, paste, in place, my shape. So now from here, I can start generating the actual um, extrusions. First of all, I'm going to start with the legs of the shape, all the legs. Okay, I have selected them all. I'm going to use a solid color. Solid. I'm going to press Command E for extrusion, and that's going to be the height because I'm on the top. I'm, I'm on the top view, so I can see what's actually going on. I mean, it's actually. I'm going to pull it towards myself. So I'm going to create an extrusion of 20 centimeters, uh, probably a little bit more. I'm going to use 40 centimeters. Okay, so now if I go to my right hand view, I can see the height of my legs, which is 40 centimeters. I'm going to go back to my top view. And now I'm going to create the extrusion of the actual feet. So this should have an extrusion perhaps of, uh, let's say, 5 centimeters. Okay, so now we can see it here. So all I need to do is now move this seat up. So I can go to my right view, go to my move tool, grab it, move it up, hold my shift key. Now I can move it up. Now let's go back to the top view. And now I just need to grab the rest, well, the back rest, sorry. And I'm going to perhaps pull it up a meter. So I'm going to create the extrusion of 100 centimeters and click OK. Okay, I'm going to go again to my right view. You can see it's very high. Mm -hmm. So if it's still too high, perhaps I can take it back a little bit more, 80 centimeters. Yeah, that's much better. Go to my right view. And now I'm just going to move it up, up to here. I can actually try move it up a little bit more and grab the object from the bottom and snap it. Okay, so here I have now the chair. I, have, I can go to my front view, right view, and I can see all the properties of this object. Now what I can do is go to the object, go to my class, so actually, sorry, to my render, and in here what I'm going to do is select the class texture. So from here, I'm going to just start with perhaps wood board, mm -hmm. and all of them. So when I render now, view, rendering, perhaps OpenGL, I can see now my chair in here. So then I can use my visualization tools to actually browse my shape. And I can see now this is a chair that I can use. Now, uh, let's go to the front view, which is this one. If we want to do some holes on this shape, what we can do is draw the shape that we want. Perhaps something like this. Like this. Then I'm just going to mirror it with my mirror tool. Okay. And now I'm going to extrude both of these shapes. I'm now extruding towards the front. You can see I'm on my front view. So Command E. And now I'm going to extrude it perhaps just 20 centimeters. I don't need that much. So now we can see this extrusion in here. What I need to do is just put them I'm on my right view now, which is going to move it in. Right view. And just move them in to the right. Like so. Mm -hmm. So now this is how we can see them. 
So now what I need to do is actually subtract the selection. So I'm selecting at this moment these two shapes. Now I need to add the actual backrest to my selection, which I have done by pressing Shift. Now I'm going to go to Modal. I'm going to subtract solids. So basically, I need to highlight the shape that I want to keep, which is the one that is in red. Click OK. And there you go. Now we have the chair with some rest. OK, now I can exit my symbol. OK, we have it here on the plan. So when I go to my right isometric, I can see my object on 3D, which I can still render in OpenGL, and it should be able to visualize on 3D. OK, I can see my chair as a symbol, and that is how we create a chair.